Yep, so a good morning to everyone. It's the 3rd of October. Um, I just decided that I will just strap the camera on, try that, and walk around, do what I'm doing. Um, and just maybe just brabble along while I'm doing things. So I'm preparing in the moment for um, a course which is starting today in the local community college and this course will be seven sessions today is the first one we'll have to do it in finnish which is you know hoo -hoo. i hope finglish is okay finglish is usually good i think usually as long people want to listen to each other they will understand so i think we'll be fine but yeah so the course is um about taking the average Finnish ecological footprint and putting it half. So taking your own ecological footprint and putting it half to the Finnish average. Um, you know, very excited about the course. Um, I was thinking to make always a before and after video and um, I'm collecting materials for the course now. This is the uh, full moon full stop. I don't know if that can be seen. I need to have something here by the door to attach things. Yeah, full moon full stop, how it works, what it is. The super number one survival tool for our situation works globally. Amazing tool, works for everyone. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm thinking to make a series of videos going along with this um, the constrictor knot. Amazing, very useful knot, very useful. Um, so the course will be about putting it half. So we have to find ways and. There in the course we will go through all the six survival priorities one by one. So the first session will be an introduction and I'm making videos kind of before and after each of these sessions. So trying to make a web version at the same time. So I'm not so good with talking and doing things at the same time. Walking and talking cannot do. Yeah, so, okay, I think this is getting boring. I will swap the camera thing somehow and then be more focused on the camera. This doesn't work. Um, there is the cheat stick thingy. Not cheat stick, how do you call it? Selfie stick. I'll attach you guys to here. Is there a possibility to turn the camera around? Yeah, quick here so we can have a tour. Toilet. Um, the bed. Yeah, I was having a nice pile of blankets sleeping on my sarong, which I'm wearing now. Sarong is an amazing piece of clothing. Very versatile. Love it. Um, yeah, it was a good night with Dennis here. Just have the roof open. Stove was doing nicely yesterday. We had sauna and we're sitting here by the stove and having tea and making food and yeah, it's really good. Um, take you to the outside. Maybe can I turn the camera around? Don't know. Nah, I don't try. So here the bell. It's a little reminder that I'm entering another realm. <laughs> so now I'm going to the outside world. So you can see the Nomaton has developed a bit. Um, we have the black tent here, which is a kitchen tent. It's also the story tent. So this is where we have fire talks, or where I like to have fire talks. Um, sharing stories by the fire. Yeah, good tent. Dennis shelter. 
which is in the process of construction. Um, yeah, very sophisticated design. <laughs> He's planning on floor heating and rocket mass heater technology. Uh, integrated greenhouse in the living space. Uh, everything can be packed down to, you know, fit on a car trailer. So, just... So this will be the sleeping area and uh, kind of living kitchen area. There will be kind of separating walls in between. The greenhouse will also be separated off with a door. But apparently underfloor heating from a stove, rocket stove, will go also under the greenhouse. So there will be heated beds. I mean, that's like, that's technology. <laughs> yeah. Over there is still the guest toilet. The um, good and trustworthy Polish army Lafu. I'm gonna walk there too. Place for the football field. Yeah, we were thinking yesterday with Dennis in the sauna that we should have like, you know, very, very frequent courses here. Like, you know, every Monday this, every Tuesday this. And then different times of the day. School kids in the morning. Uh, this is the guest toilet, just, you know, hole in the ground and sand. Um, which is okay, that works. I mean, that's like really out of no access to other animals and it will rot away. So quite secure, um, but we are working on a compost toilet system, which um, has started the construction already over there. So there will be two toilet seats, one for clean poo and one for not so clean poo, so that we do not end up with having antibiotics and um, antibiotics and, 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 and hormones in our growing beds later. A mulch bed that we built in a course with Sudan Lanka I said two weekends ago. And yeah, so this building there, it's um, been tidied up quite heavily. So this is a sauna. The whole building needs to be lifted up. It's too close to the ground. Yeah, quite working sauna. The stove could be better, a lot better, I think. Um, and a room which could function as a temporary living place. Somebody who wants to test test the um, Nometon concept. Want to find out what it is to live in a in a resilience hub. What does resilience hub mean? And yeah, I hope in the coming videos that that question will be a bit more clear. And. Also that um, there might be connections coming to people elsewhere who are living in similar concepts or want to explore these concepts and also contact with people who um, might already do this some way or the other. So, yep. I think that was quite a short update for the Nomenton. What else could there be to be said? A lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, there's so much to be said. What I find most amazing is our times. Um, like, we have such a hurry. And we realize that, for example, democracy can't do it. And that's a really tricky one, because we like to believe in what we are doing and when we see we're doing one thing we would somehow like to believe in it because this is what we are doing but when we see that we don't have so good reason to believe in it that's very un uncomfortable so and democracy can't really do it because um, every kind of democracy has its flaws and in the moment the biggest flaw is like I think the connection between capitalism and democracy because capitalism plays a huge role in our democracy 
And capitalism is the one that is so flawed. Like we live in a world where nothing can be owned. It's impossible to own anything. Especially not beyond our needs. So if I'm like defending my nest as a breeding bird, I don't own the nest. I'm just defending my life, my space. I'm, I'm taking care to have my, my minimum covered. And I think this is what we, we should understand that we need to cover our minimum first. See how can we get there? How can we cover the minimum? And then see how close to that we can come and how much do we still maybe have to hold on to or add on to from our, like, I don't know, dying status quo or debt. It's debt. In my opinion, it's debt. The status quo of, of, of growth and, and ownership. And was it two days ago, I was in a seminar, or not a seminar, a lecture by um, a very knowledgeable person uh, from the University of Juvescule. And it was about democracy. Can democracy do it? And like there was the thing about the flaws. And also somehow I got to think that what is democracy about? Why doesn't it work? Well, in the moment, democracy can't solve our situation because the process is too slow. We have too many uninformed people who affect on the situation. Um, and as soon as the people are informed, there's a huge likelihood that they panic. Because we are in a survival situation, in my opinion, it's a suicide situation because we continue doing what we know kills us. And, well, I wanted to go to democracy again. So, our democracy is about agreeing. We're finding out what can we agree on, um, what rules can we agree on, what is allowed, what is not allowed. And all these agreements, this is what takes the time and energy and maybe also takes conflict. And I think the, the core, the perfect part of democracy is the part, those things that we do not agree, need to agree on. Those things that we kind of, without speaking it out, agree that we don't need to agree about those things. And I think this is like where we have to look at when we think of the value of our democracy. And that is, we agree that we are. We don't need to discuss this, mostly not. Like, I think that's a big one. And also we have an idea that it's good to be good. Um, and I think that's basically it. So, yeah, we do a lot of harm. We do a lot of harm. And we need to take adventurous steps forward because prognosis is for the future. They do not look good. So, and I think that what helps me a lot in the moment is to downscale also in the scale of the information that I let receive, like that I, I expose myself to by being involved in international communications. I still follow international news, but I don't involve myself in communications about them so much. And I think that's a, a nice route because there's so much that we have to take care of locally and we know that if we put our attention locally then we will reduce our impact globally and the more we spend time in the international connection it automatically means we spend more time on screen and in my opinion we cannot meet reality if we are more on screen than outside and like concepts like the Nomad Town, which is a resilience hub with the, basically like a, a eco village with a twist, in that it is um, designed to experiment, gather, um, like and share knowledge, wisdom, skills, um, needs, all kinds of things, with the ambition to be zero impact 
that's of course a process, but we decided that we want to start high on the scale and then see what, you know, where we have to maybe go back to instead of taking what we believe, what we like to live in, you know, the, the house with the four walls and the buttons for comforts and 44.2 square meter as a European average of living space. Um, most of it is heated while it's not used <laughs> when we are in another room or at work or elsewhere. <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, and our resilience hub has the idea also to be mobile, that we can somehow pack it up if wanted or needed for reason or the other, and can move it elsewhere and leave a permaculture behind, in, in, like raise the quality of the place, the value of the place for others to come after us or the landowner or, and, um, at the same time function as a vessel of, of um, you know, like having a multiplying potential that we can even, even in a, in a nomadic sense of like having, or semi-nomadic sense of in the summer being more traveling, let's say, uh, be with a group of people just based on bicycles. Um, transport everything you need, collecting, gathering, fishing, whatever, uh, tools, networking, doing talcot while traveling, um, so for in exchange for food somewhere like and i don't know show how to build greenhouses and rocket stoves and um, permaculture ideas and how to recycle how to be creative how to build communities um what tools there are on building communities and that is what what it's all about it's building communities it's connecting it's connecting like connection and is is the number one medicine that we need to fix our problems it's not about climate change like that's just one symptom our main problem is that we are disconnected um, our main problem is that we have nature deficit disorder so and that's that's an interesting one because we are born with nature connection um, again connection nature connection yeah, connection to self who am i why am i uh, what is my value to the world, maybe, right? Not just my local community. And then also the connection to others around us through interaction, face-to-face. -face. People who are close to us should matter the most to us. That's my understanding because over time it would be really nice experience I, I i cannot imagine it well i can imagine it apparently so to to live without the electronics like just be able to connect have all meaningful connections connections that mean a lot to me in my surrounding that i can reach face to face maybe through a longer bicycle journey yeah but ah doesn't matter now okay so yeah that was uh, basically it from from the yurt in the morning um there is turn the camera around now um view <laughs> and there's my horse yeah half a car more than i don't know i think it's more than half a car yeah bicycle traders DIY, DIY, make bicycle trailers, yeah, make a huge difference, huge, huge difference. Bicycles with two people powering a bigger trailer, whatever. Okay, um, that was the update for the Nomad Town. Looking forward to courses um, coming up here. I was thinking, oh, I can't stop, <laughs> I can't stop this video. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so... <clears throat> Yeah, having like every Tuesday music evening or um, having talking circles or I don't know, climate anxiety, self-help groups <laughs> or anonymous climate change deniers. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's it's really it's really about addiction. huh? It's about addiction to a lifestyle that we know doesn't work. Um, and, you know, we know smoking harms and we still smoke. It's really 
that's where we believe our comfort zone is or where we have our comfort zone and we can so easily move our comfort zone i was thinking like oh my god i'm taking a huge risk like you know taking the step out of my comfort zone and without anybody being able to show me how to do it like take the step and move in in a in a shelter that is much 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 higher on the sustainability scale um i know that the black tent over there would actually be enough for shelter <laughs> i know that <laughs> yeah good sleeping bag fire food there lots of sleeping in winter would be possible yeah challenges challenges hmm? because there's also family so and yeah, I love to be where my family is and they're not here. So that means sometimes I have to be family sick. Sometimes I have to be homesick. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> hmm. Retreat evening, no talking evening, food making evening. Ah, oh, so nice to imagine school classes coming here. Oh, my hand got a bit cold. Yes, okay, so that's it. Um, the course in in the Kansala's office tour will be about, like, in the seven sessions for each of the priorities. So it will be interesting. I hope to have some guest lectures and, uh, yeah, in general, like, maybe that's immediately an open invitation. If you are in the area, come by come by maybe uh, somebody's here maybe not but yeah just come by anyway um maybe drop a line send a text message before you come um yeah text messages um, that works it's good and yeah and also welcome to stay here i mean there's like possibilities to have a warm heated shelter you have to you may bring bring something bring firewood bring food bring nothing if you cannot bring anything just there will be something that would be beneficial um something good to share so <clears throat> also if you want to learn something anything courses survival related issues sustainability related issues like sustainability consulting please like i, ha I happily come over if it's in the area like be it a business, a school, um, a private home, whatever. If you look into sustainability, aka survival, thrival, not just living but thriving, then um, yeah, available. Wilderness guiding, anything. Okay, hey Dodo. Oh, still running. Good, because I didn't really say proper goodbye. Um, yeah, proper goodbye, take good, good care. Um, we can do this. Very convinced, very convinced because it's, it's so much fun and easy and good, full of good feelings, good energies. Yeah, no, no stress. Um, I think it's not a big step. Like also the risk, when we think about the risk, it's, we are trained and paid not to take risks and we feel that's a risk but the risk of continuing what we are doing in the moment is much 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 bigger than risking something new yeah and we have to try so <clears throat> take good care goodbye and happy life to everyone